You know, you don't have to be a military veteran to be bothered by the thought of someone posing as a Navy SEAL. But when you're a retired member of that elite fighting group, aggravation can lead to motivation and spending the rest of your life outing the fakes. Uh, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis tells us about one man who's doing just that. Randy? That's right, Russ. Unfortunately, yeah, retired Senior Chief Petty Officer Don Shipley spent nearly 20 years as a Navy SEAL. Around 2008, he says he found a new calling in retirement, catching people who pretend to be a SEAL. And he says our state holds a dubious place of honor. Georgia is the number one state in this nation for imposters, SEAL imposters. Why do we rate so high or maybe so low? I really don't have any idea. All Don Shipley knows is Georgians seem to show up more than any other fakes from the thousands of tips that pour into his home office in Maryland. People like Bob McDaniel of Cobb County. May the 244th anniversary of our birthday only be the beginning here in America. McDaniel walked into the Semper Fi Bar and Grill in Woodstock last month to celebrate the Navy's birthday, wearing the uniform of a Navy Rear Admiral. But the lies don't end there. One of the challenges for me I teach some of the most elite warriors in, on the planet. McDaniel teaches self-defense classes around Metro Atlanta and also claims to be Special Forces, a member of the Army's Delta Force and a Navy SEAL. But the military told us there's no record of him being in the Navy. In fact, it shows he spent six years in the Marine Corps Reserve, never saw combat, and made it only to sergeant. You flew jets in the, in the Vietnam War? I did, I did. And you also became a Navy SEAL? I did, I did. Why are you lying about your military record, Bob? Well, I would never lie about my military record. Well, actually, I want to introduce you to a real SEAL. Behind you is a man named Don Shipley. He'd like to talk to you. Don? Admiral? And why do you think it's your duty to out them? They just do a terrible disservice to the uh, military. Shipley joined the Navy in 1978, eventually graduating from SEAL training in 1985. The elite unit designed to fight on sea, air, or land started during World War II. Shipley retired in 2003. Everybody knows now what a Navy SEAL is. Not a lot of them know what a fake Navy SEAL is, but they're getting that word real quick. He says after a fake Marine fooled him years ago, he decided to turn the tables. With the help of a private database of all SEAL graduates, Shipley says he and his wife Diane catch on average a dozen posers each day. He even started a YouTube channel where he posted his phone confrontations, creating the phony Navy SEAL of the week. It's time once again for inbox phony SEALs, SEALs of the week. Shipley's so popular now with so many verification requests pouring in, he set up Videos Extreme SEAL Experience. He now charges $20 a search, free if you become a member of his website, where you get access to all his videos and read about the biggest scammers. How many is this now? I put it right at about 9,000 that I've done uh, probably closer to 10. He says 99% of those verifications turned out to be fakes. They crave respect. They, they, they crave that more than anything, that you admire them. But these days, instead of outing people over the phone, Shipley likes paying a personal visit. Let's go back to Bob, the pretend Navy Rear Admiral and phony SEAL. Let's wrap this up. You don't even have a combat action ribbon on there. That's how people in the know can tell. Your presidential unit citation is upside down. You got a distinguished flying cross, and here you got three. <laughs> Three distinguished flying crosses, sir. This is stolen this valor. Was, and it's no, best. this I wouldn't steal any valor. This is what the hell is that? This is this. First of all, well, I can't explain it right now. A few days later, McDaniel called us to apologize for his actions, claiming he wore the admiral's uniform to honor his late father that day, even though his father wasn't an admiral either. McDaniel admitted all those other military claims also never happened. He could offer no explanation. I feel totally deceived because I, up to this point, I respected the man. What brought Shipley to Georgia was this picture posted on Facebook. An excited North Forsyth High School Navy Sea Cadet beaming next to Bob McDaniel. So Shipley made contact with Reagan Hughes and delivered the truth in person. I think it's an important lesson that you learn through this of how big and bad some of these clowns can be. He also offered me um, to talk to one of his 
uh, buddies about getting me into the Naval Academy. And I told lots of my RTC friends about him, mm -hmm. which now I gotta go back and tell them that he was fake. But he gets to tell his buddies something even better. Shipley has offered to be a mentor. How long do you see yourself doing this? I don't know if I'll be able to stop. Every time I think I, I would, you know, because they drive me nuts. I mean, they have shaved years off of my life. These guys just listening to these endless lies. We'll give him the left hand salute. That's all he writes. The old left hand salute. Well, Shipley says he's even gotten calls from police during hostage standoffs to see whether the person involved really is a SEAL. So even those guys are lying about their military record. Yeah, it's fascinating. Wow. You say he's caught 9,000. That's hard to imagine. And you ask the question, why Georgia? What, what would make us so low on the totem pole in that sense? Yeah, I really don't know, Russ. I mean, um, you know, we've done other investigations mm -hmm. of people here in Georgia who have pretended to be something they're not right. military-wise. Sure. Uh, uh, I guess you can theorize. I mean, we have a lot of military installations still, a lot of significant ones here in, in Georgia. Shipley doesn't know, but he, he does say this. He predicts this will not be the last time he comes to Georgia to out a phony seal. Wow. What? Shameful. Well, they the word's out. Reporting. Tell the truth or he might get you. <laughs> That's right. You don't, you don't want that guy <laughs> no. walking up to you in a parking lot. Exactly yeah. right. All right, Randy, thanks. Thank